morning everyone and welcome to a new video on our channel. It is Saturday the 21st of May 2022 and today we are off back to the LNAR Community Stadium for the National League North playoff final between York City and Boston United. So here I'm in York, I didn't do any filming of the train journey between North Holland and here because there's a race meeting on stage and uh, if you've ever been to York on a day of a race meeting on the train you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, it just gets, up, it just gets beyond crowded and uh, yeah, we're all pending like sardines but anyway, uh, going into the football this afternoon, uh, York finished fifth in the National League North table while Boston stuck into the playoffs on the last day in seventh place and so far their playoff journeys have consisted of uh, York beating Chorley at home 2-1 in the Eliminator while Boston were victorious 2-1 away to Kidderminster in the semi-finals last weekend York went to second place Brackley and picked up a 1-0 win while Boston went to Files and picked up a 2-0 win so um, so yeah, I think these playoffs perhaps more than any other have probably shown that form and momentum going into them are probably more key than the position you actually finish in the table here because I think if I'm being brutally honest about playoffs I think that they are a bit unfair when you think of it uh, Brackley were in the title race with Gates had all basically all season and uh, obviously missed out at the end and were seven points clear of the team that finished third and uh, 21 points clear of York obviously they lost us so in that respect I'm really glad we got the league one this year because um, I just think that title race took so much out of both Gates and Anne Brackley that, that by the end of it neither team really had anything left in the tank so um, yeah, really glad in that respect but at the same time uh, there's no denying that from a neutral perspective the playoffs are brilliant entertainment and uh, I think this game is tough to call today I think it'll be very close I mean personally I, I think with the home crowd on the side etc I do fancy York but um, we can't rule out Boston at all uh, obviously they're in great form going into this confidence is evidently high among the team and among the fans and that um, I think what they've got to do today Boston is uh, obviously it will be a packed out stadium today uh, they'll obviously York will have the home crowd on their side but what, what Boston have got to do is start well make the home crowd restless and uh, and yeah and obviously York, York might sort of, sort of feed off that nervous energy from their own crowd which might benefit Boston but at the same time if York start well and uh, give the crowd even more to be encouraged about then uh, yeah, that might just work in their favour so um, it's going to be a very interesting game this, this afternoon but uh, yeah as I say very much looking forward to it let's head to the LNAR Community Stadium to find out how it all unfolds So Boston are out to warm up, uh, no sign of York just yet. So now York are out to warm up and uh, I've got to say there's a really good atmosphere in here so far. Both fan bases really seem up for this. Here they come. It's a late kickoff, so so this player here can just keep popping balloons. I'm so sore. Stop the off. 
so far in this game, Boston's decision making has been so poor. I mean, since the goal, York have uh, sat off them a bit, but, uh, but honestly, like they really need to think more about it, not commit to, uh, too many bodies forward at this stage of the game. That's how they got caught out for the first goal, wasn't it? So. Half time York City 1, Boston United 0. Um, I think what this is so far is uh, Boston's game plan is just totally wrong. Um, it's completely not only playing into York's hands. Like, you saw the, the way the first goal came about was uh, Boston had a corner, um, they've committed players forward as if it was in the fifth minute as if it was the 90th minute and uh, York have broke uh, the, then uh, there was a Boston player back to, who slid in and gave away the throw in and uh, from there the Scott Barrows uh, launched one into the box and uh, Lenaldo Lino John Lewis I think it was uh, managed to get the, the toe in it and put it into the back of the net um, I think in general Boston have had a lot to play but the decision making in the final third has been absolutely abysmal uh, towards the end of the half Y'all um, seem to be getting on top of the game and, get, and properly getting to grips on a match, um, but this isn't over yet. I think um, Boston are obviously attacking their own end in the second half, but um, but they've got they've got to do something in the first 15, 20 minutes of the second half to give their support some encouragement. I think y'all might be looking at it and thinking, what do we, what do we do? Do we uh, do they? Uh, did a look to kill the game off or did they try and pull one half because if there's this if York start committing bodies forward and that could be potentially very risky for them and obviously in a playoff final is, is there really the room to take those risks um, it's going to be a very interesting half Ooh. best chance so far for Boston Tell you what, last few minutes York have been clinging on a bit. Ooh. That was close. Ten minutes of normal time left, but um, there's bound to be more because of the whole lot. kill the game off or will they try and hold what they already have?
Yeah, it's basically Boston fans, like they've stayed back at the final whistle and haven't stopped singing. I've like, got to give them a lot of credit for that. Uh, looks as though the York pitch invasion's finally dying down and they can uh, crack on with the presentation. Full-time York City 2, Boston United 0, and it has to be said that is the proper playoff performance there from York. Um, they didn't let the occasion get to them. I thought they played the occasion properly and the game properly, really. Um, I think, it was obviously, Boston had the moments in the second half. They're always going to where they're always going to have York under the cost for a bit, but uh, I, think, I think York were very, very well organised there and uh, as for Boston it um, I just think they got it tactically all wrong and that's what it ultimately came down to stay you know not York never seemed to panic at any point um, they, they kept cool heads throughout the game I mean it was obviously ideal for them getting that early goal but um, but yeah the foot forward all on the day they deserved to win and obviously as a result of that that means they go up um, I mean, it's got to give a lot of credit to John Askey um, he's really turned it around now I mean saw them up at the International Stadium just before Christmas and uh, it's safe to say um, I let my thoughts on them that night perfectly well known but uh, they've really come around since so it's probably been since since the reverse game against Gates at the end of, at the end of January really where the, the comeback started I mean and obviously they were in the middle of the FA Trophy run at that time but um I think maybe saying away um was that FA trophy exit a blessing in disguise for them. I mean it's it's all hindsight now but uh, you just think if they had got to the final would that have meant that would have taken their eye off the league a little bit. Obviously you don't know now and quite frankly it doesn't matter because um because obviously they've they've shown up when it really matters the most. Um as I said, uh, there was obviously is a slightly unfair side to the playoffs and it's hard to get away from that. But uh, the fact is, uh, York just did turn up when it really did matter. And uh, yeah, they will move into the National League. And uh, I think, looking ahead for them in the National League next year, I'd say they'll probably be, when you think about, like, they've probably got quite, a, like, they'll probably be around, I don't know, Top ten maybe probably with about a fifty fifty chance of getting in the playoffs. Uh, I think I think obviously there is the the pull there with York. Uh, it's a it's a former league club looking to work their way back. So um, see, so yeah, I think now we uh, like they'll this could be where to start moving upwards again. Obviously they've been on a bit of a downward spiral for the last few years, but uh, the. The second half of the season maybe shown that they're on the way back. I think as for Boston, and next season I'll probably be in around in and around the playoffs again. Um, but uh, but yeah, I just think over the sea, over today, and probably over the season for Boston, they just, um, just weren't anywhere near good enough really. Um, but congratulations to York. I uh, hope all the fans that have stood by them no matter what have a really good night in that tonight. Um, but anyway, that is that for this video. I'll be back on Tuesday night with uh Wear Mouth Colliery Welfare versus Right Up Colliery Welfare's under twenty threes in the semi in the second semi final of the Wearside League Subsidiary Cup. So until then, take care and I'll see you later.